Welcome to HKB. I'm Leon. I'm Shaz. And today we're premiering a new segment which will be called Prime Picks. And the first film we're looking at is Fist of Fury 2 from 1977. Today we're looking at Fist of Fury 2, which is currently available on Prime Video UK. The film was made in 1977 by Hong Kong Alpha Motion Picture Co. and the running time is 93 minutes. So, what did you think of this film? Right, so I have a little history with this film. So, shout out to my good buddy Taos Knot. He introduced me to this one way back in the 90s on VHS. <laughs> And I have to admit, back then I dismissed it. I was like quite a Bruce Lee fan and the idea of somebody playing Bruce Lee or any Bruce Boytation was pretty repulsive to me. So I didn't really center on it. Since then, you've made me revisit that genre and I've had... <laughs> well, I don't know about made. <laughs> made you. <laughs> encouraged me to. Um, yeah, like I say, I've had fun with some of these films since then. I've watched um, obviously Game of Death together, a couple of Bruce Lair ones, and uh, revisiting Vista Fury 2, I've got to say, I was pleasantly surprised. Now, if you put aside the shockingly awful pan and scan horrible picture that you get on the Prime version. Yeah, it's not tidied up or upscaled or anything, is it? It's quite... It's raw. It's quite poor quality. It's, yeah, very poor quality. But the film is there, um, it's dubbed only, mm. as far as we can mm. see, only mm. an English dub, and I, I think that kind of brings the film down a little bit. But, like I said, putting that aside, looking a little bit beyond that, I think Bruce Lai actually does have some acting ability. His mm. martial arts is good. For me, from a, you know, a movie buff, looking on i think there's some really creative and imaginative fight scenes in this Definitely. film yeah i'd agree with that yeah you think he had the goods yeah i was quite surprised because i thought oh this will be quite funny <laughs> you know a bit of a ripoff bruce exploitation but i didn't really feel it was i mean the guy was playing bruce's brother from the previous film and okay, they look a bit similar, but then you'd hope that if you were playing somebody's brother that you would look similar. Yeah. Because quite often in films and what have you, people don't look anything like each other and they're meant to be siblings. So it's nice if yeah. it was done, you know, so he looked like him. But yeah, I felt that it, it was definitely like a film in its own right for this other actor. And I didn't really feel that it was Bruce Boyce-tation in a way because I thought it was so good that it wasn't like a rip-off, but that was just me. <laughs> yeah. Now, I enjoyed this film, and um, I would like to see a HD remastered widescreen version mm. with original language. And um, I get the feeling there's like a multitude of cuts in this film. I definitely saw a pair of nunchaku that weren't used in this version. Oh, so yeah. I was very disappointed. And I know it's a bit of a trope. Bruce Lee used the nunchucks, so we're going to use nunchucks. But it's an interesting weapon and it adds, mm. you know, a little yeah. bit of sauce to so the film. If the main actor was using those, I would have liked to have seen him use those. Let's see how capable I assume it, is. it was his character using them. Like you say, they were just sort of shown at the end, weren't they? Yeah, well, every every martial artist that uses them in the film uses them differently. Obviously, yeah. Bruce is the one that stands out. If you watch something like um, Secret Rivals, when Wong Tao uses the nunchucks in that, fantastic completely different way to how bruce uses them but i love his use of them in that and that really struck me so i would like to see bruce lie using the nunchucks in this film i did um yeah i did think that he looked a lot more like bruce than what bruce Lair did mm -hmm. and 
he sold me on what he was doing more because I, I noticed on some of the Bruce Lair films that we watched that I was kind of more entertained by the other martial artists than I were by him. Mm. He looked mm. like a, a toy imitation of Bruce Lee to me. And uh, any big Bruce Lee fans out there hold the hate mail, you know, I did enjoy the films. But for me, Bruce lee has got a little bit something more, something that yeah. I enjoy. He could carry the film on his own as like the main sort of star, I felt. Yeah. I felt he not only could he do the acting, but he was also really good in all the fights. Yeah, I absolutely and agree. He also had um, like a charisma. Yeah. I felt... Yeah, and you know, another interesting thing with this film is it's it's not like completely low budget, but you know, it looked like it had money spent on it, you know, mm, back in the mm, time. Mm. And the villain is Lo Lei, who plays the Japanese Miyamoto. So you've got a top shore actor there. Yeah. So, you know, that speaks volumes to me. Mm, mm. There's a few other actors in it. We got um Aitin Feng, Luk Chen and Chen Hui Lu. Not really familiar with those guys, but you know, they all do a reasonable job. And this one was directed by Jimmy Shaw Feng and Lee So Nam. Now all you diehard Kung Fu fanatics out there will have heard of Lee So Nam. He directed such classics as um The Hot, the Cool, the Vicious, Kung Fu, Wonder Child and Shaolin vs. Lama. So, you know, the pedigree of Kung Fu, mm. it's there. Mm. He knows what he's doing, and I think he did it quite well in this film. You think? Definitely. Mm -hmm. Great fight scenes in this. Yeah, so to sum it up, what would you um, you say about this film, you know, in recommendation to people? Um, uh, it's a really good martial art film. Mm -hmm. A lot of good fighting, imaginative fight scenes. Um, yeah, just really good watch if you like your fighting films. Yep, yeah, so there we go folks. Um, I'm going to score this one a 6 out of 10. How about you? 7 out of 10. Okay, so if you've got Prime, you fancy a bit of Bruce Lee style action, you've got Time to Kill, give this one a look. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to give us a like. And uh, thank you to everybody who watched and to all subscribers and everybody that participates in our social media with us. Hope you enjoyed. We will see you the next time. And remember, be true and buy the blue.